Hi there and welcome to this day in history for March 15th. March 15th is the 74th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 75th in leap years with 291 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is rhetorical. Rhetorical is an adjective that means of or relating to rhetoric, given to rhetoric, emphasizing style at the expense of thought, <laughs> figurative, non-literal. In more common terms, rhetorical relates to using language effectively. A rhetorical device is a use of language that creates a literary effect. I wish I had an example of this for you, but the use and meaning I think most of us are aware of is that a rhetorical question is a question you don't necessarily expect an answer for, <laughs> but are perhaps presenting as a point of conversation. In other words, a rhetorical question is a question that's not supposed to be answered. That's a lot of blah, blah, blah for one word, isn't it? <laughs> the word rhetorical comes to us from late Middle English by way of Latin, who got it from the Greek language. I'd like to take a moment to mention that links to my sources are included in the show notes. I ask you to go ahead and click that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. And remember that you can share this video with others with the link in your email, messaging, or social media. And with that, we are going to start with March 15th in the year 44 BC with the assassination of Julius Caesar. Beware the Ides of March. Julius Caesar was stabbed to death in the Roman Senate House by a group of men led by Marcus Junius Brutus et tu Brute and Gaius Cassius Longinus. This is the birthday of Greek bishop and saint, Saint Nicholas, considered to have been born March 15th in the year 270, also known as St. Nicholas of Myra, since that's where he was from, or St. Nicholas the Wonder Worker. He's the patron saint of sailors, merchants, archers, repentant thieves, prostitutes, children, brewers, pawnbrokers, unmarried people, and students in various cities and countries around Europe. While my source says that very little is actually known of the historical St. Nicholas, the earliest accounts of his life were written centuries after his death, it does mention that St. Nicholas's legendary habit of secret gift giving gave rise to the traditional model of Santa Claus. According to some of the legends that I've read about him, he does sound like a lovely human being. St. Nicholas lived to the year 343 when he died at the age of 73. On March 15, 1672, King Charles II of England issued a royal declaration of indulgence which granted limited religious freedoms to all Christians. Protestants thought this was not quite enough and that it was too easy on the Catholics and not stringent enough on would-be converts. This is the birthday of Andrew Jackson, born March 15, 1767. He was the seventh president of the United States, and so far we can still see his face on a $20 bill. He died in 1845 at the age of 78. The American Revolutionary War was tough on everybody. They'd been fighting for independence all this time, hadn't been paid in quite some time, and the pensions that had been promised had not yet been funded. Someone composed an anonymous letter and sent it around suggesting that uh, they needed to do something about it. This event is known as the Newburgh Conspiracy, and on March 15, 1783, George Washington gave an emotional speech asking his officers not to support the Newburgh Conspiracy. His plea was successful, and the threatened coup d'etat was averted. Maine was admitted to the Union on March 15, 1820 as the 23rd State of the Union. On March 15, 1875, Archbishop of New York John McCluskey was named the first Cardinal in the United States. This is the birthday of American blues singer-songwriter Latin and Hopkins, born March 15, 1912. He developed a real distinctive style of play in the blues. Latin and Hopkins died in 1982 at the age of 69. March 15, 1916, United States President Woodrow Wilson sent 4,800 United States troops 
over the U.S.-Mexico border to pursue Pancho Villa. Tsar Nicholas II of Russia abdicated his throne on March 15, 1917. This is the birthday of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, born March 15, 1933. Quite a gal. One of her nicknames was Notorious RBG. <laughs> she passed away in September of 2020 at the age of 87. On March 15, 1941, Philippine Airlines entered service, making the airline the first and oldest commercial airline in Asia, operating under the same name. The Iranian oil industry was nationalized on March 15, 1951. On March 15, 1990, Mikhail Gorbachev was elected as the first president of the Soviet Union. And that's all I have for you today. There were lots and lots of more birthdays today, but perhaps we can catch up with some of those on March 15th of next year. Anyway, I hope you learned something you didn't know before. I know I sure did. I always do. Again, links to my sources are included in the show notes, and I'll be sure and put a link to the playlist up in the corner for you. I also post these videos on my blog. The link to that is in the show notes as well. Alrighty, I think we're all set. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. We had the door open for a moment, and mosquito hawks have gotten into the house. <laughs> Made it in St. Petersburg, Florida. It's not Florida. <laughs> okay, we gotta make that go to sleep. We'll do that in a minute. All right, let's back that up just a little bit. The Volkswagen Microbrus, my, <laughs> the Volkswagen, <laughs> so many mistakes. I don't know how all that's gonna go together or if it's even gonna make it to the video. We'll just see. That's not gonna go. Probably cut all that out. That'll all be laying on the cutting room floor. <laughs> So I'll just do that whole thing over. <laughs> that might not make it into the video, we'll see. Changing it up.